Hello everybody, Gone to Rich here. Another video. I have a few days off work. I don't go back to work until Thursday. So I thought I would make this video. Earlier today I did go to the record store, bought a few things. I do have a few things that I received in the mail. So this Saturday, more than likely, I'll do a, my last final finds of the year. But I thought I would uh, continue... Well, this one is brought to you by Grosh. I thought I would continue the video I just did a couple of days ago. Top 10 UK albums. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the response I got. And I'm going to do 11 to 20. Now, I kind of talked about uh, X-Ray Specs. And I, you know, how I don't really like them. And let me just say, if you do like them, that's fine. There's no, when it comes to this kind of stuff, there's no right or wrong, you know. It's all opinions. And to be quite honest, uh, everybody's top ten should be different, you know, unless you're a fucking robot or something. But anyways, before I get started, I want to talk about this album here. It's Chaos UK. Short, sharp, short, sharp, shock. And uh, you may recognize the album cover. Michelle Shocked kind of used this on her first album, I believe. Came out maybe four or five years after this one. And <clears throat> it has her being arrested at the Democratic Convention, I think. But it's the same, almost the same shot. It's pretty weird. But the thing about this album... Is look at this guy's fingers, dude. Look how long those things are. It's almost like that fucking vampire guy, you know? It's really creepy. But anyways, this is a really good album. I did not include it in my second 10, in my top 20, because of the last song. It's like a eight and a half minute song, and it just goes on and on, and it really goes nowhere. But I thought I would... Just show this album. Because other than that, it's a great album. It's kind of like a mixture of uh, Disorder and Discharge. I showed uh, two of their EPs in the last one. It's got the song structure of Discharge. That da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. But it's got the fuzzy and distorted guitars of uh, Disorder. Good album, though. Now... I'm going to do a 21, and I'm going to include this album here. <clears throat> now, if I had, I don't have uh, Elvis Costello's first album anymore. If I had that, that would have made my top 10. Probably his second album, quite possibly, could have made my top 10. This is his third album. I mean, it's got some songs that aren't you wouldn't call punk but Elvis Costello was punk some people say no he's new wave new wave was not a thing when Elvis Costello came out new wave came uh the term new wave came out record companies came out record executives came out with that I think to try to make punk rock a little more palatable to the U.S. market maybe the U.K. market too but uh, yeah, this has Goon Squad, Green Shirt, Two Little Hitlers, Oliver's Army. You know, it's a good punk album, and I thought I would include this just to like illustrate that I do like bands like Elvis Costello and that. And Elvis Costello's first album would have made my top ten. So now let's go to twenty. Twenty is Cox Bar, Shock Troops. This album came out in '82. These guys were like a pub rock band. And they actually, I think they came out with an album. It was something like 75 or something. It was only released in France, I believe. And it got popular with the punks. So I, I think they reformed and started playing gigs. And uh, they were popular in the oi, with the oi crowd. And this is their second album. came out in 82. Really good album. Uh, Where Are They Now is a great song. Talking about Joe Strummer and 
Johnny Rotten, you know, where are they now, you know? Riot Squad, it's a good album. 19 is The Vibrators, Pure Mania. When this first came, when this, when I bought this back in the 70s, I didn't think it was all that great. I like it a lot more now. And I would say the same thing about the next album, too. But yeah, Into the Future, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just starts off really great. Really good, fast pop punk rock songs. Pop punk. That's a fucking oxymoron. It's a great punk album. And it's very similar to this one. The Buzzcocks first album. Which uh, came out in 78. Uh, and uh, if there's any doubt about it. It even says right here 100% punk. Starts off with Fast Cars. Good album. 17 is something a little bit completely different. It's the Slits cut. This came out in 79. This is, has some weird stuff on it. Some kind of dub reggae influences. I... This is another one I didn't really care for all that much back in the 70s. I bought this a few years ago and I really dig it now. Number 16, Alien Sex Fiend, their first album, Who's Been Sleeping in My Brain. A great album, man. I Wish I Was a Dog, Wild Women, I'm Not Mad, New Christian Music, and the instrumental, instrumental at the end, Wig Wham Wipeout. Side one is darn near perfect. Great album. This came out in 1983. And number 15 is uh, The Exploited, second album, Troops of Tomorrow. Um, in a lot of my comments, people cited their first album, Punk's Not Dead. <clears throat> they said they would have included that. I think this is a better album. I think some of the songs on Punk's Not Dead are not really that good. I think half of them are great. I think this is a way better album. Side one is uh, the studio, and side two is uh, live. Just fantastic stuff. And uh, Let's Start a War, their third album is very good too. But I thought I would show this one too, The Exploited Horror Epics. This came out in 85, and I think this one is better than their first album. This has a great sound to it. Fantastic stuff. 14 is an album that came out in 83. And it's Conflict's first album. It's Time to See Who's Who. It's a great album. Just the lyrics inside. It starts off with an instrumental. And then it just goes into that uh, crust punk, I guess they call it. I don't know. But yeah, I dig this. I bought the CD of this. And I was a bit disappointed. The my two favorite songs on the album are not included on the CD. They have a, it's a different songs. It's kind of weird. Number thirteen is Crass's second album. This came out in '79. Now, if I had their first album, "The Feeding of the Five Thousand, that would probably be in my top ten. But their second album. Is 13 on my list. Great album. Double album. Fantastic. Crass. Number 12 is one that was mentioned in a lot of comments that this would be, this or their third album would be uh, in their top 10. And this is Damn, Damn, Damn by The Damned. <coughs> now this is actually a twofer. Really cool, really a uh, good sound on this, and uh, the first it starts off with neat, 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 just fantastic. Side two's new rose, great album. I mean, it almost made my top ten. And number eleven, it barely missed my top ten is Wire, Pink Flag by Wire. Fantastic album. This came out in 77. I don't know if I mentioned it. This one came out in 77 also. This is a fantastic album. Great punk album with probably like 20-something songs on it. Um, 
I've heard people mention that they weren't... I've heard people call this band post-punk. Well, it's kind of hard to be post-punk when your album came out in 77, the first wave of punk. And that just kind of illustrates my point of post-punk is punk. Not all punk sounded like the Ramones or the Sex Pistols. When I went to gigs in the 70s, there was such a wide variety of uh, types of punk bands. And uh, to further illustrate that that these this isn't really a punk band, is they weren't really associated with the punk crowd and that. But neither was Black Flag. And nobody's saying that they're not punk, you know what I mean? So... 100% punk, great album, just missed my top 10, Wire, Pink Flag, and that's it. I just thought I'd make a real quick one, a bonus. I'm going to watch Monday Night Football. I don't really give a shit who wins. Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. But I'm in the playoffs of the, my fantasy football league, and... Uh, I'm ahead by 20 points. The guy I'm playing has Carson Wentz, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. So if Carson Wentz gets 20 points, I win. If he gets 21, I lose. Damn. It's right there, man. It's going to be close. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the comments. All the thumbs up. And even the four guys that gave me a thumbs down, thanks a lot. I, I Wankers are welcome here. Take care, everybody. Carson Wentz, I hope you suck. <laughs>